This video will cover how to create email templates, what templates are pre-populated into Radius, an in-depth look at how to create and edit templates, testing the templates you've created, and finally, how to utilize the templates. This video goes in-depth, so you can simply play around with the templates after seeing the basics, where they are in drips and clicking the Edit button, Add and Delete buttons, and then we'll dive deeper. We've structured this so that we'll go through basics, template creation and editing, testing the templates, and utilizing the templates. Basics. To create an email template in Radius, go to Drips. This is where all of your email templates are created, stored, and edited, regardless of what kind of marketing you're using the template for. We have some pre-populated templates in your account when you sign up. You should review and edit all of these templates, as there is some placeholder information that you'll want to change before using them. You can delete the ones you don't need. However, we recommend keeping the appointment reminder and the client access portal link and client access password email templates. You should still edit the body of those templates but the system needs those in case you want to use the Client Access Portal option in the future. Do not change the template name of the Client Access emails. And on the Appointment Reminder template, that has the coding for the appointments pre-populated for you, so just leave it. You can learn more about those features in other videos. So let's get going on to template creation. Click Edit to begin editing an existing template. Let me flag these hashtags and text that you see here. We call them snippets. What they do is tell the system where to pull that information from. So here in your from name, you can enter your company's name, or if you wanted it to auto-populate with the assigned agent's name, use the hashtag agent name hashtag snippet. Some people think we're saying to type in hashtag Alex Rodriguez hashtag as the agent name. That is incorrect. It's code. So it has to be hashtag agent name hashtag. That code is then pulling from the agent my information page. So whatever you have in that field will be reflected. This is really helpful for agents because if you have to change your email address, for instance, you would just go to Account, My Information, and edit it there. Then all of your templates, using that hashtag agent name hashtag or hashtag agent email hashtag, will then reflect your new information without you having to edit each individual template. Most likely, you're more interested in the lead client snippets below. This says lead first name, but it's really lead or client. Any custom fields that you've created are available as snippets toward the bottom of this list. Another question that comes up frequently is how the system knows which is their first or last name when name is all in one field. The system is finding the first name by the first part of the name with the space after it. So, Jane Austen Smith would have the first name of Jane. Her last name is Smith. You would have to put Austin hyphen Smith for that to be displayed as the last name. Moving on. Click Add New Template. Fill out the top portion. The template name is for your reference. The subject line is what the client or lead will see. We recommend BCCing the assigned agent or a specific email address when you're sending an email for new leads, birthdays, or any date trigger like renewal, effective date, and so on, so that the agent is aware of the process. If I got BCC'd on a renewal notification, I would then check the client's file and add them to a tag of renewal pending, which is helpful as I could have an automated workflow for that tag to trigger calls, tasks, emails, SMS messages, and other actions. 
But don't be CC yourself on things like newsletters and mass emails with general information, as that would be a lot of email in your inbox. Let's look and see how we can personalize the body of the message. You'll notice the editing tools above the body of the message. This is called a WYSIWYG, or what you see is what you get. These are the available tools. Hover your mouse over them to see what they are. The ones you'll frequently use are font, bold, italic, and sizing. To upload an image, you can click here on this image icon. You can then go into Advanced Settings to resize and format it. You can create tables so that your campaign has a specific layout. You can make it as fancy as you like, but we found that the best way to reach your leads and clients is to utilize the snippets to make it personal without too much slick imaging. That's great for a newsletter, but if it's a new lead that you're working, it's usually better to keep it simple and just say something like, Hi, hashtag first name hashtag, comma. Thanks for your interest in working with me for your insurance needs. I see you're interested in hashtag coverage type hashtag. I can offer insurance on health, Medicare supplement, life insurance, annuities, and more. So let's talk so that we can figure out the best and most affordable plan for you. You can complete this web form for a full quote or we can do it over the phone. Whatever is best for you. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Sincerely, hashtag agent name hashtag, best insurance company, licensed agent, hashtag license number hashtag, hashtag agent phone hashtag, hashtag agent email hashtag, and then put in your URL, www.bestinsuranceco.com. Let's insert the website links that we referenced. Highlight the text that you want to link. Click on the link icon. Paste the full URL into that and hit OK. Now let's add a picture of you. Click on the image, upload an image, browse for it, and upload it to our server. You can resize it by going to Properties. Let's see how it looks perhaps a bit smaller. Click to edit. Resize. OK. That's better. Save the template. One thing that's helpful to create is a blank signature template for your agents. Let's grab the signature that we've just created. Click on Source. Copy from that agent name code all the way to the bottom. Now go into Drips. Click Add New Template. Click on Source. Paste. Click on Source again so we can see it visually and make sure that it's the way we want it. Go up to the top. Let's name this Blank Signature Alex Rodriguez. Since her picture is in there, we'll want to create an individual signature for each agent. Otherwise, if you don't have a personal image, you can just create one blank signature template for all of your agents to use. Click Make Available to Agents so that they can use this as a template in the lead and the client file. I'll show you that toward the end of the video. You'll need to enter the from details so that it will save properly. If you already have marketing templates, you can grab source code from the message then go into your radius template, click source, paste the source code, click on the source again, and edit that to personalize and tighten up any code that didn't translate well. Frequently, images will need to be re-added to the template. Another problem people sometimes have is that the spacing sometimes double spaces automatically. The easiest fix is to delete the previous space, then hold the shift button as you hit return. That will single space it for you. You can add images with hyperlinks, but you can't embed video and audio. So if you grab a picture of your video, then grab the link to it, like a YouTube URL, you can then insert that image, and if they click on it, it will open the video. If you want to add attachments, 
First, you'll need to upload them in Settings, Website Links and File Attachments, or in the Carriers and Documents tab. Note that for all emails sent as a marketing campaign, either as date-triggered marketing, automated workflows, or mass email, an unsubscribe feature will be added. If you send the template directly to someone from their file, it will not be added since that's considered a personal message. Let's test our templates that we've created. We recommend setting up your custom SMTP before sending any email templates out. Instructions for that are in the text of this tutorial on our knowledge base. Go to Email. Follow the instructions for sending a test email, which are to click Leads. Choose the button for Send Sample To. Type in one email address. Choose the template. Hit Schedule. If you select any other options, the test will not send. Now let's see how to use these templates. You can go into a leader or client file, click Send Email. If you selected that option, Make Available to Agents, you'll see those templates here in the Template Selection dropdown. If you didn't select that box, they will not appear. You can edit the direct message if you like. You can add attachments here. These are the files in the Leads file or in the Attachment or Carrier list. Hit Send. You can send mass email using the template in Email. Schedule date-triggered marketing plans in Drips. And create automated workflows. Each of those is covered in depth in separate videos, but that's enough for one video.